Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how to make Windows 8 run blazingly fast by uh, getting rid of unwanted programs that run when Windows starts and tweaking the operating system settings to make it run better than it is by default. And I'm also going to show you how to get in and remove all kinds of malware and adware that you may have. Now this is a fresh built copy of Windows 8. There's absolutely nothing on it. So there's no sentence that's been modified. This is completely the default sentence with nothing on this computer. But... So here we go, let's start off this video and I'm on my desktop now doing this in a virtual box. Now the first thing we're going to do to uh, increase the performance of Windows 8 is get rid of some of the pretty enhancements or graphical effects that they have by going into the actual uh, computer and into the properties area. But to do that we're going to have to create a computer icon on our desktop and if you don't have one you can simply do this in Windows 8 by right clicking on an open area of the desktop and you can go down into personalize and what we want to do is you want to go to change icons change desktop icons click on that and in here you want to select computer control panel click apply click OK they will add the uh, computer icon and the control panel icon to your desktop so now let's get rid of some of the uh, graphical effects of Windows 8 that slow the computer down so right click on the PC icon go down into properties and in here you're going to click on advanced system settings and in here you're going to click on the performance section and where the sentence button is and in here you're going to click adjust for best performance and then you're going to click apply that will go ahead and adjust the computer's uh, graphical effects for best performance instead of best appearance making your computer run faster click OK click OK again and exit out of those windows the next thing you're going to disable is the windows search indexer which hogs your uh, memory and I, I think it's a waste of uh, resources so to do that hover over to the right side of the screen open up the magnifying glass search and you're gonna write in here Windows I mean you're gonna write in services dot MSC and you're gonna click on this button that has services you'll see the little little uh, tool icon thingy here once you open that, that throws up your Windows Services window. Just give it a second to load. Make it full screen. And you're going to search for a service in here called Windows Search. So it's a waste of your memory. You don't need it on. Locate Windows Search Service. What you're going to do is you're going to right click. You're going to stop that service. And that's going to go ahead and stop it. And then once you do that, you're going to right click it again. Go into Properties down here. And then here you're going to click on this drop down menu under start type. And you're going to go all the way down. You're going to click disable, click apply, click OK, exit out of those windows. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to de deactivate the UT UATC control for Windows that automatically prompts you to run a file and asks you to per permission to run files. I think it's stupid and I think it's always prevents you from running the file faster. So to do that, we're going to disable that by going into the system configuration. So to do that, you're going to once again go to the right side of the computer and you're going to go into the search magnifying glass again and this time we're writing MSC config MS config Once you do that, you're going to open up the MS configuration utility window Once you're in this system configuration utility window, you're going to head over to the, to the tools tab What you're going to do is you're going to look for UTC change UTC settings you're going to hover over that make sure it's highlighted then you're going to come down to where it says launch and let that launch and you're going to drag this down to never notify me and click OK it's going to ask um, this is what I'm talking about user control do you want to allow the following program to make changes to the computer this pop up that comes up if you this is going to say yes and then you will deactivate that so you don't have that pop up running out of time when you run a file so now you can exit that and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of some of your security software. Now I think this is going to be silly for some people, but in the end of this video I'm going to show you how to install something better than Windows Defender. Windows Defender is a built-in Microsoft uh, anti-malware application built into every copy of Windows. But Windows Defender is not that good, so uh, it just wastes your uh, memory. So I'm going to show you how to de deactivate Windows Defender. Go into your search again, right here on the right. Search Windows Defender. 
by disabling Windows Defender, you're going to get your performance back too. Alright, so when you're in Windows Defender, you're going to come down to the sentence area and you're going to look for real time protection. And you're going to uncheck real time protection, click save changes. It's going to say your computer's at risk, just ignore it. It'll pop up downstairs sound to turn on virus protection. Don't worry, because later on in this video, we're going to put in something called Malwarebytes, which is far better. Alright, now that you've done that, we're going to get rid of some of the unnecessary startup programs that boot when Windows starts that hog your CPU and slow your computer down and, and hog your memory. To do that, we're going to navigate down with the mouse to the taskbar at the very bottom. We're going to go and right-click on that, and you're going to pull up the task manager. And in Task Manager, you're going to click on More Details. And then you're going to go into a Startup tab up here. And under here, whatever you see under here, you're going to right click and you're going to disable. Now, I don't disable in VMware tools, but whatever you have in here, you'll have a lot of stuff. Just disable that. If you see your antivirus software in here, or whatever antivirus software you may have, you can feel free to enable it. But all the other stuff that are in here, you can disable that. And what that does is it basically will... Uh, tell the computer not to boot that automatically when Windows starts saving you your computer performance big time making your Windows operating system run way way faster so to, so once you've done that another thing we can do is we can tell the computer to run at a higher performance with the power sentence in Windows control panel so we can tell the computer to take more power to run faster so what we do is you go down to your control panel icon on your desktop open that one up and in here you're going to look for where it says Hardware and sound, open that. And then here you're going to look for power options, open that. And what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you have it checked on high performance. I've already got it on high performance. If it's on balance, you're going to change it to high performance. That will help the computer run faster. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to install some anti-malware application tools to fight off malware, viruses, and we're also going to install a utility called CCleaner to further clean up temporary junk files off the system and crap files that you don't want. To do that, you're going to head down over to the uh, Internet Explorer. If you have Google Chrome, it's alright. Whatever browser you're using is fine. We're going to do a search for a program called Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. You can just search malware bytes in here. I'm gonna click on this, and they're gonna take you to their website. Now, this is a fantastic program. Malware bytes is not really an antivirus, but it can protect you from threats that antivirus softwares like Norton's can't find and detect. It's what I really use on all my computers, and it really is a small program. You can download a free version of it or a full version of it. The full version. I uh, will offer real-time protection to free trial version is 60 days and then when the trial runs out you can still use the program just you have to go and manually run, run scans instead of it auto running scans but regardless run the file download it install it it's a perfect program to have so we're just going to go ahead and download Malwarebytes now we're going to select our language click it OK Click next, accept license agreement, click next, 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 and next again, and install Malwarebytes. Click finish. Now I'll open up Malwarebytes, and it's going to run an update. Let it run its update. Still open it up. It's just down here. What it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and it's going to grab updates off its database, let it do its thing. It's going to say that there's never been a scan run on your computer. Just click fix now and that will run a scan for you. It's still in the process of updating, so we're going to have to wait for it to do that.
All right, once it's done updating, it's going to go ahead and run a scan. Whatever it finds and detects on your computer, it will let you remove those threats absolutely for free. But I'm going to go ahead and cancel the scan because right now I'm not interested in waiting. So I'm going to cancel the scan. And next program we're going to install is called uh, CCleaner, which is a program that will help your computer's performance really by uh, removing junk and temp files you don't want. So open up your browser once more, do a search for CCleaner. All right, download a copy of CCleaner. Download now. This is their website. CCleaner is a fantastic program. Now, if you don't know, if you want to know more about CCleaner, I've made a video of it the other day. Check the YouTube my YouTube channel, and I'm gonna and I go over it in detail how to use this. But in this video, I don't have time to go over in detail how to run this program. I'm just gonna show you the basics. So you're gonna download it, install the free copy of CCleaner from their site. Accept the end user license agreement, then it's going to give you an option to add shortcuts and blah blah blah. Just click next, click install. It's going to also offer if you want the Google Google Chrome on your computer or, and install the Google toolbar. If you don't want that, just uncheck those and uh, let it install. It downloads real fast, installs real fast. It's already done. It's going to say it's finished the setup. Click finish, it's going to automatically briefly open Internet Explorer up. It just can close out of that window once it does so. Or if it doesn't, yeah, it did. And just close out Internet Explorer once that opens. Then you, in here is your CCLean and utility. To use it, it's very, very user friendly. You go at the right bottom right corner, click run clean. It's going to ask you, it's going to say it's going to remove all these files off your system. Just click OK. And that's going to go ahead and run your junk junk temp files and all that kind of stuff that slow your computer down for free right off your computer. Next head over to registry. You click on registry. Click fix or scan for issues. And here it's going to find Windows registry related issues and you're going to click on the, when it's done to scan you can fix these for free by clicking on this button once it's done. Click fix selected issues. It will ask you to back up your registry. You don't have to. Just click Fix All Selected Issues. And now, if you if if you want to actually have CCleaner run for you automatically, you head over to Options right here. Click on Settings. Click Run Cleaner when the computer starts. Click on the Advanced setting. And then here you're going to choose clo Close Program After Cleaning. And also you're going to make sure you check Minimize the System Tray. That way it will be minimized down here, and it'll run the clean for you down here on your System Tray. All right. Once you're done that, you can exit out of CCleaner. And thanks for watching my video. This will help you increase the performance of Windows 8 dramatically. Hope all these tips helped your computer, and I hope it made it faster. And uh, remember to comment, write, and subscribe.